Logan. I'm going to reread um, once again about three animals. I'm going to read the star nosed mole again about the rhinoceros and the giant ant eater. So enjoy. Listen for those interesting facts that you will want to write down later. A star nosed mole. A star nosed mole is a small burrowing animal that uses its nose to find dinner in the dark underground and sometimes even underwater. The star nosed mole uses its nose to smell, but it also uses it to feel for food. Its nose has 22 fleshy rays around the nostrils. These are always moving. So these things, these are the fleshy rays right here. Can you see those? They're always moving. And quick as a blink, the mole knows if its nose touches food, like a worm or an insect. Fact. To smell underwater, the star-nosed mole blows bubbles and then sniffs, pulling the air bubbles into its nose past its smell sensors. Oh my gosh, I did not know it could smell underwater. That's pretty cool. If you had a star-nosed mole's nose, you could find a midnight snack without turning on the kitchen light. Sneaky. Rhinoceros. A rhinoceros is the only animal with a horn on its nose. It's made up of layers of keratin, the same stuff that human hair and fingernails are made of. Male rhinos use their horns to duel for mates. Females use theirs to guard their babies. Besides having a horn, a rhino's nose has a keen sense of smell to find leaves and fruit to eat. They can also sniff for enemies like lions. Fact. A baby rhinoceros isn't born with a horn, but one soon starts growing and it never stops. If you had a rhinoceros's nose, you'd be the perfect bodyguard. Yes, you would. Have your own personal safety device, right? All right, the giant anteater. What looks like a giant anteater's long nose is really its upper and lower jaws joined together. Its nose is on the tip of this long tube. This nose is perfect for poking into hard to reach places to sniff out yummy insects like ants and termites. A giant anteater also uses its long nose like a snorkel when it goes swimming so it can breathe while underwater. I had no idea giant anteaters even went in the water. Fact. When it smells insects, the anteater flicks its super long tongue in and out quickly as many as 160 times a minute and it eats bugs by the thousands. Holy moly, look at that tongue. If you had a giant anteater's nose, you could go scuba diving without a snorkel. That would be cool. Okay, we're gonna stop there for now. I'll read the last two animals over again for you tomorrow. Think about two facts you want to write about each of the animals' noses we write about today. Have fun!